Today we're gonna make a chicken alfredo pizza using a low carb tortilla for the pizza crust. I found this at AutoZone. So you're just gonna spread some alfredo sauce on it. I tried to find one with like as little vegetable oil as possible because I was just in a rush to get a pre-made one. It's not until like later on on the ingredient label that it has sunflower oil. So <clears throat> I wasn't tripping too much. If you want to get like a completely vegetable oil free Alfredo, I'm pretty sure the Rayo's brand is a good option. But carb wise, this is great. Two net carbs for a quarter cup. I don't, that's not even a quarter cup. So now we are going to spread this and I need something to spread it with. I'll just use like a piece of chicken. I don't have a spoon around. Okay. This is good enough. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to add our cheese. I'm just gonna eat this because why not? Wait, first we're gonna season it. So oregano. And a little garlic powder. I do have allergies right now, Brooke. I've been sounding so stuffy lately, it's very annoying. All right. <clears throat> Just some mozzarella. Uh, we are using blackened tenders that I just chopped up. I put them in the air fryer for like one minute, two minutes rather, cut them up, and then let them finish cooking because they'll cook way faster in tiny pieces. Um, okay, so now we're just spreading this a little. And we're going to do a little onion. Someone said I cheated on keto. That's okay, we all do. It happens. Just get back on track today. Forgive yourself. Realize that nobody is perfect 365 days a year. And if they are, which I have done, like I have went two years with like, basically no cheats and it's great but as your social life expands or as you like have different priorities it's really not a big deal to enjoy carbs every once in a while I'm much happier now being able to like a few times a month have dinner at an Italian restaurant you know but if you're at a place where you're like you need something like AA to break your carb addiction. Like you need to be very extreme, like almost religious with your keto journey. I think it's super valuable to not go off plan at all. All right. So now we're going to just put the chicken on too. By the way, I don't know if I told you guys, this is fully cooked bacon. These pieces of chicken are pretty big. All right. Now you already know we're going to grate some fresh Pecorano Romano on top. Did I say that right? Is that what it's called? Pecorino Romano. I would put a tiny bit more cheese, like the mozzarella, just on top. <clears throat> yeah, because the chicken is thick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good idea. Will you comment this, by the way? Just like chicken Alfredo pizza? Yeah, you can never make it too cheesy. Do you have a house update? Uh, it's looking like July, hopefully. So we're grating some fresh Parmesan on top. And... Here we go. And that means I get to eat these while we cook it. Okay. Okay. And I'm using a little sheet I got on Amazon. It's like parchment paper squares, super convenient. Give you more chicken. There's more? 
Yeah, I could like put more in there. There's because okay. the bag has like little straps. I didn't know if you want any. Okay. Just save your hot mess there. Okay, it's in the air fryer, and we're going to... <clears throat> Somebody said, you're going to cook that chicken again? It's going to taste like cardboard. So the thing is, I'm going to be putting a lot of Alfredo sauce <clears throat> on it, and that's going to make up for the chicken being clearly overcooked. Um, but if you want to do it differently, I'm not sure what I would recommend. Like, what do you guys think? Would you use slightly undercooked? cooked chicken and let it finish cooking on the pizza or like <clears throat> if somebody has culinary experience how would you recommend going about this i don't mind it i've made this recipe like 10 times i like it either way oh yes you could use dark meat which is like totally delicious no matter how overcooked it is Irish, you're saying no to the slightly undercooked chicken. Somebody said canola oil is the devil. That's true. Um, we thought bread and sugar were terrible, which they are. But what's also terrible is canola and soybean oil. It's just harder to cut that out because if you go out to eat, everything is cooked in it. So I'm more forgiving with myself when I have things like that. But um, I do try my best to like lower my consumption of those foods. Someone is counting calories, 4,000 calories. I don't understand. Wait, what? What does that mean? Artisan, it definitely is. It's so bad for you. It's crazy. Is dextrose in food okay? So the thing about dextrose is if you're buying, you said like not sweets. So if you're buying pepperoni or pork rinds and it has dextrose on the ingredient label, it's totally fine. If you are buying sweets or sweeteners, always avoid dextrose because when they put it in pepperonis, they're not using nearly enough to affect ketosis. When it's in a, um, so say you buy the big bag of stevia in the raw. If you go to like a fancy coffee shop um, and you see the sweeteners and you're like, oh cool, they have stevia. But then you check the ingredient label and it's not actually stevia. It's like a little bit of stevia with mostly dextrose or maltodextrin. Those things kick you out of ketosis when they are used as sweeteners, not when they're used in like pepperoni or something. So that's the deal with those. I only eat one meal a day and fast 20 hours. So this should be delicious. Oh yeah, this would be great for one meal a day. Wow, Sarah, we will definitely keep your daughter in our prayers um, for sure. I'm so sorry to hear that happened. Avocado oil is great, but this, this idea of like just use avocado oil is good if you're cooking at home because that's what we all should do. But the problem is, I'm talking about like when you go out to eat, when you want to use like a ranch cup, it it's usually has canola oil or something in it. Um, but yeah, if you're cooking your own food, like do not use vegetable oil. You, you have total control over what goes into the food you cook. I'm more so talking about like prepackaged things or when you're out to eat. Oh, I guess you're right. I could add the cooked um, blackened tenders afterwards. What's your must have cheat? Uh, it, it's like chicken fingers and fries. That's, and like mac and cheese. Those are the, if I could have one dream cheat meal, that's what I would have. Chicken fingers, fries, mac and cheese, and like sweet and sour for dipping. I just bought your book. I love it. Hey, thank you so much, Susan. Shout out to everybody who's gotten the book, Breaking Up With Carbs. The link is in my bio. You can also just go to Amazon. You remind me of Dax Shepard. People actually say that a lot. They say I look like the guy from 30 Rock, too. Did you watch that show? Maybe. 30 Rock? Yeah, I used to. 
Do I look like that guy? I don't know. They've said that before during lives. Can I see what color your boxers are? They're gray. I wear gray and black uh, exclusively. Those are like the only two colors. Do you eat chia seed pudding? I do not, but that is a good option. Um, if you're craving, especially like oats. Like I used to love oatmeal. I would actually eat my oatmeal raw, so like uncooked. Oh my God, I think the pizza's burning, hold on. It's been in there a long time. I'm gonna go no utensils and just take it off with my hand. Oh yeah, okay. Boom. Here we go. I think I made the chicken a little too thick. But I'm excited. Alright, here we go. Yeah, let's take a picture of this and then eat it. This looks good. Oh yeah, okay. Let's eat. Just one more picture. Bussin. I'm already taking pictures and saving them for like the book that comes out after the book that's coming out. <coughs> All right. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I went a little too heavy with the onions, but mm, this is so good. Mm. Cindy, we made a chicken alfredo pizza. Mm. Unicorn, there is another book coming. It's really soon. Mm. Mm. 
Ooh, roasted garlic. If you're into fresh garlic. I do not like fresh garlic. Do you want a piece? Mmm. The crust is a low-carb tortilla. How do you eat only one? It's very filling. I just ordered your first one. Hey, thank you. Oh my God. Yeah, Anna doesn't want any. Um, <clears throat> mm. I've lost 30 pounds in two and a half months. Thanks for all the Keto Finds videos. Whoa, that's amazing. Congrats. I'm so glad they're able to help you. This is so delicious. Mmm. Oh, with barbecue sauce, too. Mm-hmm. Obviously sugar-free barbecue sauce. Jacqueline, I'm just having some allergies. Mm. How do you feel about fasting? Is it necessary? Not necessary. It's a good tool if you want to use it, but... With keto, I went from 10.8 A1C to 6.2 in five months. Whoa, Bridget, that's the stuff I love hearing. So many people with prediabetes, type two diabetes, are totally healing it with keto. It's amazing. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, Jacqueline, type one is a little different. Mm. Lacey, so I put Alfredo sauce, mozzarella, oregano, garlic powder, onions, bacon, and chopped up blackened tenders. Mm. Do you recommend Chalk Zero products? Chalk Zero is okay. Mm. It's very easy to overconsume though. The chocolate tastes so good. Mm. This is like beyond delicious. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Bussin. <clears throat> All right, guys. <clears throat> wow, that was so good. Let's get spiritual up in here. Hold on. I need some water. Please be with anybody who's struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power <laughs> to change. <coughs> Sorry guys, I like drank too much water and I'm choking on it. 
<laughs> Harley is always confused. She's always wondering where her food is at. All right, let's get this prayer in. Yo, Bart, please be with anybody who's struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We are so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never ever take that for granted. Amen. All right, guys. <clears throat> I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed rest of your night.